Uh, I'm Esmond and uh, welcome to this short uh, series of videos on creating topographical maps. We, what we'll be talking about here is basically what is a topographical map. We'll be talking about how to create topographical maps in QGIS. So those main two elements will be covered in the following videos. First of all, what are we going to learn about? Which tools are we going to learn? We're going to um, learn about using existing topographical maps or auto photos or other images as background, so adding things on top of it. We will be talking about how to create additional spatial data, so digitizing information. We will be talking about how to uh, use grids or graticules on maps. We will be talking about creating overview maps and indications of where one map frame is in relation inside another map frame. We will be talking about using um, multi-layer symbology, so how can we build symbols of different elements. And we will talk finally about creating advanced labeling in QGIS. So those are the main topics that we will be covering. But first of all, what is a map, a topographical map? Um, the term topographical is ancient Greek, and um, basically it consists of the parts of topos, which means place, and graphic, which means writing. So you will also find that they use topographic in literature, so a description of a place as being a topographical. Um, so it's important to emphasize that you are producing a topographical map, a map that writes about a place. So the word place is the key here. It is the description of the place as opposed to the thematic map that describes a theme and the distribution of or variation of that theme through space. So a topographical map is a map that describes a location. They are typically relatively large scale maps, so 1 to 10,000 to 1 to 50,000. Um, they um, typically include some form of grid to help you assist you in the location of it. They typically uh, have a detail map and then an overview map which can be used to locate yourself in a larger context. And they typically contain things that are of nominal character. We have in another video talked about different types of information. So we have Nominal, that is with no internal ordering. We have ordinal, where we know that something is more than something else. And then we have interval and ratio, where we can quantify the difference between things. Um, and in the topographical map, most of the features are nominal, so we can talk about forest, lake, church, school. There are also some ordinal things, such as road networks, we have a dirt track, primary road, secondary road, motor road. So all of these are ordinal. We know that the motor road is more than the dirt track, but we can't quantify that. And finally, there are also some elements of internal data, such as elevation. So, but the majority of the information on a topographical map is nominal in its character. Why do we want to create topographical maps or use them? Um, well, most often we just want to assist in showing where something is happening. Um, so the most common situation where we're using a topographical map as a background is where we want to say, okay, this is where 
just as accident or burglaries or whatever. So we're using them as a backdrop to help locate, put into context something else. We also use them to depict impacts of events, floods, forest fires, that type of thing. What has have been covered by this event? Um, we might also want to show how an air can be utilized. Uh, a, having an existing map and then putting a festival layout on top of it or using it to show how a street network can be reorganized to make a more pleasant living environment. And then finally, we also find that we use them to help people, navigate people, say, okay, don't go into this area, there's a breeding eagle, or there might be something interesting to see if you go along this path, or this is where the conference venue is. So we're using them to help people show where to go and where not to go. So these are all reasons why we use topographical back maps as backgrounds for additional information. So, and that is probably where most people use topographical maps. There's not so many that produce topographical maps of, of their own, but the situation is typically that we have a topographical map and then we use them as a backdrop to put something else on top of it.